that person's respected senior members, my dear colleagues. It's a privilege speaking here and counter the arguments of Sarah Manor, who represents Christopher Bryden Mission, an international NGO with a global presence in the field of eye care for so many decades. And I represent a little flower from a little state in India. So where do we stand now? Madam, in fact, was trying to convince you about the need of primary eye care. But in that attempt, she, I believe, overstepped her limits and tried to include primary health care in primary eye care. This is, in fact, what I'm also trying to say, that it's not primary eye care which is important, but it's primary health care and the standard of living of our general population. As my dear friend Sujata talked to you, and the Arabic model, to be precise, and when I was going through the LVPI report of January 2014, being an alumnus, I have an access to that, I found it. There are at least a hundred vision centers under the institute. Similarly, in Tamil Nadu, 41 vision centers are owned by the Aravindai Hospital. Plus, if you see the scenario in India, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh are the two favorite states, the favorite play fields of international NGOs, like Christopher Blinded Mission, which Madam represents, the Operation Eyesight Universal, Sight Savers, Orbis, Orbis, and Tamil Nadu. So these are the two states where primary eye care has bloomed to a large extent. But what do the statistics say? The prevalence of blindness, which is just corrected visual activity less than 660, is 2.1% in Tamil Nadu, is 1.84% in Andhra Pradesh, while you go to smaller states like Haryana, it's 1.13%, and Kerala, it's just 0.39%. Please look at the national rate, it's in spite of all these vision centers and eye camps. So where do we stand? Primary eye care and accessibility are excellent slogans for appealing to the government and NGOs. But tackle today are due to glaucoma, corneal blindness, diabetic macular edema, or other retinal conditions. How effective are these vision centers and eye camps in picking up blindness due to retinal diseases or glaucoma? of corneal blindness sufficiently early and bringing them to the referral center for a treatment for an intervention which could save their vision. I doubt. So what's the way forward? Improve our literacy rates. As Sarah Madam herself said, improve primary eye care, uh, sorry, improve primary health care, improve the level of education. People themselves will access not just primary eye care but quality eye care. Thank you.